Yeah. 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 So this is Rivian. The Rivian is a, a new electric car platform building company. They have two models. One's an SUV. One's a pickup truck. And from what I can just remember off the top of my head, it's 450 miles of range on a charge, 15,000 pounds towing capacity on the pickup truck. Um, I'm excited about them because they're taking over an old Mitsubishi plant in Illinois and uh, bringing a lot of jobs to the area, Central Illinois area. So. I'm, right. I'm Brandon. What was your name? Brandon and Michael. Michael. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, right. So I just kind of wanted to touch touch with some specs of the truck, obviously, yep. and kind of talk about how you guys are, are, are bringing your operations to uh, Central Illinois because that's where I where I live, and um, pretty exciting, you know, bringing jobs to the area and yep. working out partnerships and stuff with some manufacturers. So that's cool stuff. So what are we looking at here? This is the you guys have two models in mind. Yeah. So this is the uh, Rivian R1T. This is our pickup truck. There's a sister vehicle from this called the R1S. That's our SUV. The R1S is a three-row SUV. This is a two-row pickup. Both of them have 750 horsepower. Both of them have all-wheel drive, four motor, quad motor, all-wheel drive. Both of them submersible up to 39 inches. Really? Right. Both of them can tow 11,000 pounds of, of weight. And this is a this is a real deal we have. Yeah, and you guys are um, so your platform that, that they kind of refer to as the skateboard platform. Um, you guys are also in talks with some other pretty big manufacturers, uh, car makers. Uh, yeah. Working. Yeah. Didn't you guys just recently work out a deal with Ford? Or? That's right. So Ford invested 500 million dollars into Rivian, and concurrent with that, they're creating a commercial relationship where we will supply Rivian with the skateboard, which is the wheels, the running gear, all the things that make the car move. And they will take that and do something with it in there. Cool. Cool. So, what other kind of, like, you guys have like color trends in mind? Do you have like an actual release day? Yeah, so it, this is a really exciting time because we're, we're working through all of that data in real time. The release date is the end of 2020. So right now we're thinking about colors, trims, pricing, options. And we have this really strong pre-order community that's coming along for the ride with us. And they, they're full of ideas. They have certain things that they like that we're trying to incorporate into the vehicle. We're at Overland right now because this is a really important community for us to understand what, what they like. We've been coming here for years and see how they work and see how they live and the kind of things they do. So this is why we have a, a tent on the back of the vehicle here because it's the vehicle is a blank canvas for these Overland people, but it's given them an idea of what they can do and sort of inspiring their imagination a little bit. Yeah. Are you guys like uh, kind of listening to feedback for now and oh, kind of getting sure. some ideas I mean, on some different trims, like sure. possibly an Overland trim or anything like that? Uh, well, this has been uh, this is a company, uh, an overnight success that's been 10 years in the making. They've been working on this project for 10 years. Spent a lot of time in places like this, listening to people, creating groups, understanding what's good and what's bad. For example, on this truck we have uh, crossbars that are integrated in and, and locked between the rear and the, and the top of the vehicle, and they're the same lock. So you can transfer the two from here to the top and then back again, and everything is easy and simple. The, the, the height of the bed is very important just to make sure you get stuff in. Uh, the gear tunnel is my favorite aspect of the yeah. entire vehicle. I don't know whether you've got time to look at that. Yeah, absolutely. But that's a fully sealed space in here. Because I've kind of seen examples of kind of sticking surfboards in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, but this is... So what we have for this show is a custom kitchen that we've put in place. It slides out, it cooks. It's, it cooks from the, the power of the battery pack, so it's an electric cooker, induction cooker. But if you don't take this, you can take an empty space and put your gear in it. We'll come up with lots of other ideas for stuff you can put in there. It's cool, no? yeah, yeah. Is this something like an accessory that you'd be able to add to That's right. the trim? Or That's right. And it's fully sealed too, so you can wade even with stuff in the gear tunnel and you can be sure that that'll be fully protected. Now, how many inches is that? 30? How many 39 inches? inches. 39 yeah, inches so of water. You know, up to here. Yeah. That's pretty wow. deep. And even after that point, it's more about buoyancy. Because there's so much storage space in the vehicle, the vehicle starts to float. Everything is exactly It's not about being waterproof at that point. It's about boys. It's, it's kind of fun. Cool. Well, I appreciate your yeah, time thank you talking very much. to us. I'm super right. excited. Um, Thanks a lot. If I could buy one today, I would. Put your name down. We'll take it. All right. All right. Thank you. Bye.